Hi, this is Jill Perry Ising with another tutorial for Deer Park High School's multimedia class. This time I want to talk about filters. In our last tutorial, I talked about transitions, and I showed you that a transition goes on the seam in between two clips, and it shows the changeover from one clip to the next clip. My students often get transitions and filters confused. A filter is something that you put on top of a clip to enhance the clip. So, for example, if I click on this clip here, and let's say I wanted it to, maybe I'm doing a scene where they're hearing voices in their heads and they're going crazy and I want to have maybe um, the, the video shaking and maybe I want to have the voices in their heads um, have an echo on it. So I would come over to uh, this icon right here, the second one from the right, and I would get a list of all the different categories for filters and within each category you have several choices. So let's say I go into where it says distortion and I know that the earthquake filter makes things shake. So I'm going to take the earthquake filter and drag and drop it onto my clip, put my playhead in the middle of the clip so I can see it. And once I play it, I'm going to press the space bar, and you can see that it's shaking. And so once you do put a filter on top of a clip, then the filter's properties open up in the inspector over here on the right. So you can see that it says earthquake, and then you can adjust the settings for the earthquake filter. So for example, if I wanted more of a shake, I might take the amount up and go back and play the clip by hitting the space bar, and it shakes even more. If I decided I did not want that filter, I can just uncheck it, and then the filter would go away, and the clip would be normal again. So that's one thing I can do with filters. Um, at this point, if I wanted to, I could go into audio filters, and the same thing, I can go into echo or distortion, and I can also put a filter on the audio portion of my clip. Uh, my kids often ask me, how do you make something black and white. So like, for example, if you were doing a public service announcement on, say, somebody doing drugs, maybe when they had no drugs in their life, the clip is in color, and once they start doing drugs, the clip turns to black and white. That's something that we do in class often enough. So let me use the first clip as an example. So the first thing I would do to make an effect like that is I would take the blade tool, which you can go here and choose the blade tool, or you can hit the letter B for blade. I would take that blade tool, and you see that it turns into a razor blade. And I'm going to click on my clip, and that what that does is that cuts my clip in two. Let me hit the A tool for arrow, which is actually my selection tool, you know, to put that back on. I always like to use shortcuts. And if, let me move my playhead out of the way. You can see that I now have like a crack or a seam between the two clips because I just split this into two. So I'm going to leave the first clip in color, and I'm going to go over to where on my filters where I see uh, color. And it's really simple. I'm going to take the black and white filter. And there's a lot of ways you can make something black and white, but why not use the filter? It's here. I'm going to drag and drop that onto my second clip. So my first clip will be in color. The second half is in black and white. And that, the kids will say, well, how do you fade it? Well, that takes me back to my last tutorial on transitions. If I go into transitions and I go back to my old standby cross dissolve, I'm going to take that cross dissolve transition and drag and drop it on the seam in between the two clips that I have here now. And I might drag it out and make it a little bit longer. And now when I play the two clips, you'll see the fade through from color to black and white. I was honored enough to have him as a student a few years ago. And as you can see, I'm the color's going away. So that's how you work with filters. And again, if you wanted to play around with the, the color, so for example, with the um, color, if I click on the second clip that's got the color filter on it for black and white, again, it'll show up in my inspector up here, and I can adjust it. So if I didn't want it to be quite so black and white, I wanted to add just a slight bit of color back, I can do something like drag my slider down. You see it's got a little bit of color on their shirt still. It's all up to what your imagination um, can dream up. So that's it on filters. To review, transitions go in between two clips, and filters go on top of clips to enhance them. Uh, and that's, again, using uh, this icon right here for filters. Okay, that's it for the filter tutorial. Thank you.